going live. We're going live. We're going live. We're going live. Live. How's it going, everybody? We're back. Welcome back, everybody. It's Bruce here, traveling with Bruce here in Creston, British Columbia, Canada. How are you guys doing? How was your weekend? Uh, if you weren't in, uh, you know, the Carolinas, uh, in Virginia or Kentucky and Tennessee, probably all right. But if you were in those areas, probably not so good, I suppose. Um, up here in Creston, okay, we got rain up here, a good bunch of rain, but um, I'm happy to report that it's kind of a normal amounts. Uh, today, it's mainly sunny, and we're headed to pure sunshine the next couple of days. Uh, we're around 60 degrees. The skies are absolutely clean, like like the, the, the air is clean because all those forest fires we had all summer long. Uh, that's a memory now. We have beautiful, great views of the area here. Our mountains look crisp and clean, so I'm very happy about all that. Uh, so all is well. Um, what else is I going to tell you guys? Uh, yeah, the weather. I mean, geez, you know, the, these forest fires in the in the west, I'm just hoping that in California they've dissipated. Uh, hopefully Debbie will join us today, and maybe Jim uh, Thomas will be here. They can fill us in on how things are going out there. Also, Kat... Uh, from Sacramento, she can also let us know how her, how her air quality is doing. Uh, yes, so there you go. Live, 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 Robert. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. <laughs> I just saw that Robert Brandt. Live, live, live. Yes, I am live. Um, it is Monday, September 17th, 2018. Welcome to <laughs> it's almost the two third point of September already. Wow. Um, subscribers, holy moly, they are coming in. Um, I think, however, it's going to slope a little bit. I don't think this pace is going to continue uh, like it's been lately, although I'll, I'll take it. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, a week ago, a week ago, I was at 2,710 subscribers, just, you know, kind of hanging around 2,700 subscribers. Uh, right now, uh, well, Saturday afternoon, when I left you guys last, last on my last live show, 3,324, which, you know, was 620-odd, you know, new subscribers. Now, 3519, almost another 200 since Saturday. Thank you, new subscribers. I hope a bunch of you are joining. I hope a bunch of you are joining me live. I, I've invited, I invite you all to come on by and please uh, pop in if you can. If you can't come in live, watch the rerun if you can. Uh, I appreciate that. But fantastic, 3519 subscribers. Uh, that is 800 more than a week ago. Um, Incredible. I, I, just, I just had no idea that, that that was around the corner. I'm so grateful for that. Uh, almost a third increase uh, in, in, view, in subscribers. Just incredible. I know there are many more of you who are watching who don't subscribe. There's a ton of you out there who love to watch, but you don't subscribe. You don't, you don't have to subscribe. There's no law saying you got to subscribe. My only thing is uh, I did a video this morning uh, about the P&O Cruise Line. They're launching a new ship called the Iona. And if you're a subscriber of this channel, which means you've clicked on a button down here or you've clicked on a button over here, um, one of these two has a little bell icon beside it. If you clicked on those, the bell icon in particular, like the subscribe bell, you do that bell icon on top of the subscription button, you'll get an email every time I do a video. And lately, I've been cranking out a video almost every day on top of my live shows. And uh, you never know when they're coming out because uh, when the you know when the when the mood strikes or when the news is there or something's developing, I'm going to make a video about it. Um, and I invite you to subscribe and hit the the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And you're right on top of what's going on. Um, but anyway, if you haven't seen today's video, check it out uh, when you can. Uh, it's all about the new P and O cruise ship called Iona. It's under construction right now. It will be Britain's largest cruise ship uh 5200 passengers uh will be its capacity and it's going to run on liquid natural gas everything state of the art it's an incredible uh, uh, machine i got some really cool pictures on it i hope you like the video hope you enjoy it if you do enjoy that video please give it a thumbs up it's getting good reviews and uh well if you enjoy this show give me a thumbs up too by the way anyway uh yeah i hope you can check it out today if you haven't already and thank you for those of you who have already and have sent me comments saying you liked it i appreciate that as always so very much also um thanks again to some of you folks out there who are uh, figuring out i have an amazon uh, link i've got an affiliate link to the amazon uh, homepage. you can find it on my homepage on my on my homepage. uh, uh 
the little icons are usually on the top, either up here or up here. There's an Amazon icon. Or if you're looking down below here in the description underneath this video, you should find a, 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 an Amazon address, an Amazon email address that if you clicked on it, it'll take you right to the homepage of Amazon. Pick something up from Amazon. If you're already an Amazon shopper, this channel gets a finder fee on anything you buy. Depending on what it's worth, the more you spend, the more we make. Uh, it helps this channel bring in income from other sources, which is fantastic. Plus, uh, some of you out there are buying product on Redbubble, which, which is my um, my merchandise store for Traveling with Bruce merchandise. Um, today, by the way, I got an email this morning from Redbubble. Those of you who have ever bought from Redbubble before, you probably have this email as well. I received it, gosh, it had to be six in the morning. 20% uh, off the entire site today. If you buy anything on Redbubble today, any of my product, any of my T-shirts, any of my uh, coffee mugs with any kind of logo on them, they're all 20% off today. So you save, save, save. So if you've been thinking about getting a T-shirt for yourself or your better half or you're thinking about uh, you know someone that's having a birthday and you want to get them something with Traveling with Bruce on it, you can do yourself a favor and pick something up today and save 20% on anything on my on my merchandise store. And hey, could get I get a commission on everything you buy there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, a special shout out today to Robert Brandt. Uh, sent me a, uh, a donation on my PayPal uh, page, my PayPal donate button, which I think is either up here or up here, again, on my homepage, where that banner is there. It says Traveling with Bruce. Um, if you're, if you like to, if you would like to help support me to keep me on the air, <laughs> I'm having trouble talking today. Uh, you can do it with a donation through PayPal. Um, and the reason I keep mentioning PayPal rather than super chat, which anyone can do when I'm on the air, you can send me money by touching a little button there that says dollar sign over there. You want to send me super chat donation. You can do so. I'd love those. The trick of it is though. Um, for every dollar that you send me on Super Chat, I only get 70 cents. YouTube takes 30 cents off the top. If you make me a donation, the same amount of money on PayPal, I get 96, up to 96% of that cash because PayPal only has a, a, a transaction fee, uh, a banking transaction fee. And on top of everything else, a donation you make here on Super Chat, I will get this cash uh, in six weeks or so. Whereas if it's on PayPal, I get it in five minutes. It's, it's available for me to use right away. So, of course, when I see a donation come in from PayPal, oh, man, I am thrilled at that because it is an immediate cash injection that Jennifer and I can utilize towards the, uh, the cable bill or the Internet bill or the the electric bill or, or going to Costco or whatever we got to do. So thank you all for that. And again, thank you, Robert Brandt today for a donation to this channel. Um, it's not the first time he's done that. Thank you so much. I appreciate your undying support and I look forward to meeting you sometime. <laughs> that's going to happen and that's going to be fun. Um, what else? Uh, I think that covers everything I need to talk about with respect to the channel. Um, Views have been up, uh, subscriptions have been up, uh, just incredible. I'm just gonna move my camera in a little bit just to kind of tighten the shot here. I've got my uh, I got my phone here with all these uh, hello messages. If you've never watched me before, uh, sign in. Uh, you don't have to, but I'd love it if you did. Tell me you're a new, tell me it's your uh, first time, especially your first timers. If this is your first time watching, uh, say hi to me. Uh, say uh, say something like, uh, you know, hi Bruce, my first time today, or it's my first time watching you. Uh, I'm from so-and-so, like, where are you from? What, tell me the town, if it's in the U.S. or Canada, or uh, tell me what country you're from. What's your high temperature today? Some of my folks are telling me what the price of gas is today. <laughs> I love that. We compare notes all the time on this channel about those kinds of things. We're having lots of fun with that. So, yeah, by all means, sign in, say hi. If you have any questions about cruising, please fire away. Let me know what it, whatever you want me to talk to you about. I'll try to give you an answer on the spot if I can. This show is perfect for first-time cruisers. Absolutely perfect. But this show, this channel, is perfect for cruise-addicted people like me and most of my viewers. Those of us who are here are addicted to cruising. We can't wait to get on our next one. And we hang out here to kind of spend some time together and work our way through the hard times of uh, not being on a cruise ship. <laughs> so there you go. If I can't answer a question, by the way, one of my viewers probably can answer the question that you probably have. So, yeah, by all means, you want to know about uh, different cruise lines, different cruise ships, fire away. Love to have you uh, 
uh, answer anything you'd like to talk to me about. All right, today's topic of the day. I've got a little bit of news on the cruise side going on today. Let me just check my photo there, my video. Um, I got a couple pieces of news today. I wanted to talk to you today about uh, Bermuda. I want to talk to you today about Royal Caribbean. I wanted to talk today about Princess a little bit. I've got a little bit of news on uh, additional news on uh, the British uh, cruising uh, business and P and O. And so I've got a number of things to talk to you about and uh, kind of get into that and say hi to everybody. Let us let us let me quickly get on to the news of the day because I know a lot of you out there, you send me messages and you say, Bruce, you're a great guy. I love you. I uh, love your shirts and all that. But geez, you know, you talk to all your people about all kinds of small stuff, but you never get to the point of the topic on hand. Today, I'm going to rip it around. I'm going to talk about the topic at hand. I'm going to say hi to my people after that and get the reaction to the topic of the day and see what we do. All right, so for those of you who just want the news and then bamoose out of here, I understand. It's okay. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, number one topic is Bermuda. Um, I was reading this morning uh, because of the hurricanes, Hurricane Florence, and the uh, the threat of uh, Hurricane Isaac, which thankfully didn't turn into anything serious. Uh, it was bad enough where it hit, but thankfully it did not go through the Caribbean like like last year's Maria and uh, uh, and Irma. Um, Bermuda lost uh, passengers. They've lost at least six cruises um, that have been canceled because trips just couldn't get there or wouldn't go. Um, that meant 13,910 passengers that would have been in Bermuda in the last week haven't been there. And the Port Authority and the, uh, the business people in Bermuda, they, they've got some st statistics and they figured out that the island as far as tours and spending on the island and cabs and bus rides and grabbing a coffee or having a drink or two or whatever, all the spending that would have been done by these people, plus some of the passengers, some of the crew, excuse me, because some of the crew also get off, you know, get a three or four hour break as well. They figured it's at least $1.6 million in lost income for the island in the last uh, five, six days. On top of that, the port estimates, uh, I think, about a million more in port charges, fees, and taxes for docking the ships at the pier. So for the island, it, it's over $2.5 million of lost money, and you can't get it back. It's, it's gone. It's gone. These passengers are not coming now. The, the time has gone by, and these ships are elsewhere. Now, ships are coming to the island now, but these are ships that were scheduled to come anyway. So... This is just money that was supposed to come in late mid-September, latter part of September, but money that was supposed to come in the last week didn't arrive. There's two and a half million dollars missing in uh, Bermuda. <laughs> it's just not there. Uh, the passengers, of course, were sent elsewhere. They went to Nassau. Nassau was a winner. They went to Amber Cove, which meant uh, Carnival was a winner because <laughs> our Carnival is Amber Cove, or Amber Cove is Carnival, I guess. Um, and also Dominican Republic, they're winners because of that. Um, 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 Port Canaveral. Port Canaveral was a winner. Uh, got the grandeur of the seas and got another ship that popped by. I think it was the Pride that popped over there for an unexpected visit. Walt Disney, uh, Disney World probably was a winner. Orlando, the city of and the region of that area of Florida, they were winners, whereas uh, Bermuda was a loser. So this two and a half million got spent. Don't worry, it got spent, uh, but it didn't get spent in Bermuda where Bermuda was hoping it would be spent. So that was the the first piece of news that I came up with this morning, I read that very early this morning. I thought, oh, that was interesting. Uh, you know, you don't think about that necessarily when you're wondering about hurricanes and disasters and everything else. Um, the second piece of news regarding hurricanes, um, it, it regards the Royal, it's regarding the Royal Princess cruise ship. I read this morning and I've been following it now for, uh, for five days. Uh, our good friend Don with uh, Don's Family Travels, he has a YouTube channel out there. Uh, Don is on that ship right now, the uh, the Royal Princess. Now, Don was, uh, get, got on the ship in Southampton, and the deal was that uh, the expected route would, would have been uh, a day at sea over to Hamburg, Germany. I think there was another day at sea, then to Bergen in Norway. Then uh, over to uh, Belfast, I'm not sure if it would have been the next morning or a day at sea first. Then. Um, if I recall, um, it might have gone back, might have gone to Cork or Dublin. I'm not 100% sure on this. And then over to St. John, uh, Newfoundland, St. John's Newfoundland, then to New York. Uh, well, the ship uh, did not make that happen because of a couple of factors. Uh, one is Florence, by the way, odd, oddly enough. But the actual reason is uh, Hurricane Helene. Her, uh, hurricane, there was a hurricane called Helene for about three days. 
came off the coast of Africa, looked like it was going to barrel across the Atlantic and head for the Caribbean. That, that's what it looked like when, it, when we first found it and saw it on the so-called uh, hurricane watch sites. But uh, she got up out, oh, I don't know, 1,000, 12, 1,500 miles off the African coast, and then she stopped moving forward, stopped moving towards the west. She, she started going north. And uh, she headed for the uh, the Canary Islands and the Azores in that region off of the northern part of Africa. And uh, the folks at uh, Princess were looking at their maps and their routing and their itinerary timing of the Royal Princess cruise ship. And they figured out, well, yeah, we're going to leave uh, Belfast and uh, we're going to come out of Ireland and head towards, uh, head towards uh, St. John, Newfoundland, right when Helene is going to hit the uh, hit Ireland. We're going to get whacked with this thing at, at 30, 40, 50 mile an hour winds, probably at 15, 20 foot waves, miserable weather. We don't want to do that. We don't want to put the ship through that. We want to put our passengers through that. So what they did was they uh, they had the ship go to Hamburg. It did get there. By the time it got to Hamburg, they figured out, oh, no, we're not going to Bergen. We're not going to Belfast. We're not doing the Ireland thing and then going to St. John. No, no, we're not. Forget, scratch all that. We're going backwards. We're turning right around from Hamburg. After we do that, we're going back. We're going to do a stop uh, in, in France for a day. And then we're going to do a, a day or two of sailing to get to Vigio in Spain, which is on the just around the border of Spain and Portugal. Um, and the reasoning was that by hugging the coast of France and Spain and, and stopping there, Helene would move north to Ireland so that it would be in Ireland when they weren't going to be in Ireland. They were going to be there, but now they're not going to be there. And so the storm is looking for a royal princess, can't find it. And royal princess is in Vigio. Now it's heading to Ponta del Gala, and that is the, uh, the Azores. And that's where the hurricane was. So the hurricane's gone, calm weather ship is going there instead these passengers are being subjected to calm seas if you take a look at uh, don's videos that he's made so far it's calm seas <laughs> yes he doesn't have waves and crashing rains and 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 squalls and uh, people throwing up on the poop, poop, pool deck none of that stuff it's calm it's wonderful a visio was 90 degrees uh it's probably that right now over in the azores they're, they're in warm hot weather they're summer some people are upset. They want to go to Bergen, Norway. They want to go to Belfast, but that, that's off the team. Uh, from uh, the Ponte Delgado, the ship will then head across the Atlantic. Now, the question still is, will it go to St. John's, Newfoundland, or will Florence be the problem by the time they get there? Because Florence right now, for those of you who, who know or don't know, has wreaked all kinds of havoc in the Carolinas. It's still dumping rain interior of the Carolinas and Tennessee and Kentucky and Virginia and West Virginia, but it's heading north towards uh, Pennsylvania, New York State, Ohio, and then over to Massachusetts, Maine, Vermont, Rhode Island, and we'll, we'll then go to Nova Scotia and to uh, Newfoundland out into the Atlantic. This ship, the Royal, Car the Royal Princess, might be heading right for the remnants of uh, Florence. So they may change her itinerary yet again, and they may take her to Bermuda for a day, then to New York, or straight to New York. We don't know. If they do straight to New York, the passengers may have one or two days on the ship before they have to get off of it because uh, it was scheduled to get to New York, everybody get off, next batch of people get on, it was going to go on its next journey. If it gets there a day early or two days early, if it can port in New York, then the folks can use the ship as a hotel for a night or two before they have to get off. We'll find out uh, the next few days what uh, Royal Princess's itinerary will be. It's always It can change on the fly. This is the beauty of cruise ships in hurricane season or in any time of the year. Cruise ships can avoid problems that come out of nowhere because they can outrun them, they can outmaneuver them, or they can hold back. And cruise ships are not above turning around and going back where they came from it doesn't matter it doesn't matter they're not going to be brave enough to just go right into a storm for no good reason the only time i seem i see this happening and it's unfortunate is between new york and the caribbean uh in the winter time um and nor and who's been the culprit norwegian and somewhat uh somewhat royal caribbean i but i was on a cruise out of bayonne new jersey heading for Labadee and then uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and then to St. Thomas and, Saint, and then to St. Vincent. This is a couple years ago. Um, 
And uh, we left New York, silky smooth seas, gorgeous, beautiful day. The New York Harbor was just like this, just like glass. And uh, we got out of there. We headed south. It was a beautiful night. We had a wonderful dinner. Went to bed and kind of noticed a little bit of, just a bit of movement. But I thought, you know, it's okay. I'll, I'll be put to sleep. I'll just be rocked to sleep here. I've got an inside room. I didn't look out because I couldn't look out. Went to sleep. Uh, woke up the next morning at about 7 in the morning. And we were moving. Why? Because a bomb cyclone, a winter storm, was coming up the East Coast. And this storm had fooled the meteorologist and the folks on the cruise ship. Instead of the storm coming north through the Appalachians, it swung out over the Atlantic and came north that way. As we were heading south, the captain had no choice. Uh, there was no avoiding it because even if he turned around, he would be with the darn storm all the way back to New York. He had powered his way through the storm, and uh, he did it in about uh, 30 hours. But those are pretty. Those were swung, one serious rough 30 hours of time that, uh, oh, I don't want that anymore. We had 50 foot waves um and we had 100 mile an hour winds because we were going into the storm the storm was going opposite us and it was going at 60 70 we we're going to 20 30 and yeah we were hitting up to 100 mile an hour winds and they blocked off the decks on the top they would not let us on the top decks at all if you wanted to walk from one end of the ship to the other you had to do it in the hallways where you could at least bring your arms out and, and <laughs> on the side walls but boy, I was so uh, I was so seasick. I was so you know with the movement, I didn't want to get up. So I just stayed lying on my in my bed, laid on my left side, and survived. It. That's the only type of storm that cruise ships seem to go through. Uh, it's usually one a year uh, nowadays. Every year, sometime in, in in the winter, a cruise ship heading to New York or coming out of New York runs through one of these things uh, to the uh, to the Caribbean. Good news is the ships today can handle more than that. Uh, if they had to go through 60, 70, 80 foot waves, they could handle that. The problem is the passengers can't handle it. The ships can do it, but not the people on board. The mechanic, the mechanical is there, but not the physical stamina because we are not seafarers of that caliber and we get ill. <laughs> we complain. Anyway, in my case, for my Jennifer and myself, we uh, we lost out on Haiti, uh, Labadee, but we did get in the rest of the cruise and it was smooth as silk the rest of the way. We were fine. But anyway, for Don and the gang on the Royal Princess right now, they're in Ponta Delgada tomorrow, I believe it is. And then they have their sailing across the Atlantic. And we'll find out exactly where will they end up over the next three or four days. Today is the 17th. Tomorrow will be the 18th. It could well be that by the time he gets to St. John, that Florence will have passed St. John already. And it won't be a factor for him whatsoever. And he won't have experienced any of it, which would be just great. Anyway, that's the news on Princess. Thought I'd bring that one up for you. All right. Um, other news on the day, Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines made an announcement on Thursday or Friday that they have decided to kill the babysitting service that they've been offering. They have been offering uh, passengers who have at least a one-year-old or older, one child, two or three, whatever, that they would have a crew member uh, babysit uh, children in the suite in your cabin while mom and dad went out for a bite to eat or saw a show or whatever they wanted to do. They're no longer going to offer that as of, I think, uh, the next couple of weeks. I think they, they kill it by the end of the month. Um, exactly why, I, I don't actually know. Um, it could well be the legal department is kind of saying to them, you know, we're so wide open to litigation here. If one parent accuses one of our staff members of any inappropriate behavior, we're on the hook for millions. Maybe the insurance, we can't handle the insurance premium increases. There's a reason why they won't do it. Uh, it can't be because they don't want to. Um, they did charge for the service. Uh, so the, whoever was watching the kids was being compensated to be there. And uh, the ship has a, a zillion people to pick from to do this work. Uh, it could have been one of, the, uh, one of the counselors up at the kids zone. It could have been one of the... Uh, you know, daytime performers. It could have been someone from the kitchen staff who also has experience looking after kids. I, I don't know. Um, but uh, they're killing that deal. They're not offering it anymore as of, I think, the end of this month. And uh, I'm wondering what will happen with the other cruise lines. Will they all follow suit? Are they watching this as the first go around? Um, will other cruise lines take up on it and say, oh, no, we're still offering that? 
Uh, we're the kid-friendly line. We love children on our cruise ships. Uh, they're more than welcome to come here. I don't know. Uh, is this a an anti-child move by Royal Caribbean? I don't know. I, I just have this this feeling in my gut. I can't prove it. It's just I just have this gut feeling that it's liability insurance. Uh, that's the insurance company, the legals, and they just don't want to leave a crew member alone with someone's children in a cabin. That's that's it. And uh, uh, has there been an incident? I haven't heard of one. Has there been a problem with a babysitter and a child? I haven't heard of one. Uh, maybe there was a problem and there was not a court settlement. And we never heard of it. And now they've decided enough of this. Uh, we're not going there. I, I just don't know. Uh, maybe morale on the cruise, the, the cruise morale is so low that uh, nobody in the crew wants to do it. There might be a revolt from crew members saying, hey, uh, you know, you're, you're treating me like a slave. I'm, I'm working eight, you know, seven days a week, 14 hours a day. I got a 11 month contract. I got a month off and you're, you're, I'm constantly under review for any little thing. I could be fired. Um, the last thing I want to do is sit in a cabin with a couple screaming kids that aren't going to listen to what I say. And if I, if I in any way want to discipline them, I can't do it. Uh, no way. No, thank you. Maybe that's it. Maybe that, maybe that's it. I, I don't know. I, I personally don't think they should have that issue, but, but. Anyway, there you are. I found it an interesting little blurb in the uh, releases that went out last week. That's just my two bits worth. Kind of, what do you think? Tell me. Let me know. I'll read these comments in a bit. Uh, okay, British cruise business. Article I read today, uh, news I read today. The The story goes that um, the, the British cruise line industry, which is made up of uh, p and Cruises United Kingdom, which is a carnival company, uh, Cunard, which is also a carnival, uh, Marella Cruises, which is half owned by or partially owned by TUI Cruises, which is partially owned by Royal Caribbean, and Sega Cruises, or S Saga, S-A-G-A Cruises. Uh, these are the dominant UK cruise lines. So they're the you know, largest. Uh, they, as uh, uh, on the whole combined, are having a record year this year. And they expect to have a record year next year as well. Um, and a couple of reasons for this are kind of what's happening in the U.S. and the rest of Europe. And that is um, the larger cruise lines are improving their fleets every year, obviously. They refurbish existing ships and spruce them right up. But they're building new ships. And when a cruise line gets rid of an old ship and brings in a new ship and to replace it, it's inevitably bigger, much bigger. And um, p and is a classic example. I did the video on it today where p and is building out right now two 5,200 passenger LNG powered cruise ships. And they're going to replace one of them uh, with a 1995, 75,000 ton ship that they're, so they've already sold it off. They're getting rid of it. It'll be gone by 19 when the new one comes in. Well, that's going to be 2,000, probably 3,000 more passengers every week. 150,000 passengers a year more for P&O on this one ship right here. When the second ship comes in, if they don't get rid of another older ship, which right now they probably might not have to, they'll add 250,000 passengers a year to their capacity, thereby overall capacity will be up 400,000 people. Now, uh, P&O has, uh, has moved up into the... Uh, approximately 1 million annual passenger range right now. They're, they're handling 20,000 a week as it is. They're going to go up to um, probably 30,000 a week, closer to that in the next couple of years. That Just on this, this these developments on these cruise ships. Very interesting. Cunard, same thing. Cunard has a new ship on order. Uh, that'll be out in the next year and a half or so. That's going to add, I think, 3,000 a week or, or at least 2,000 a week. That's uh, 100,000 a year. A capacity increase. And uh, TUI Marella, uh, Marella Cruise Lines, uh, they are um, upgrading their ships. They're not buying brand new ships, but they're buying, let's say, newer ships that they have now, right? So they're going from 1,200 passenger ships to 2,500 passenger ships or uh, 1,500 to 25 or 2,800. That's what they're doing. Um, and they as well are moving up 100,000 more capacity over the next couple of years. Sega, uh, same thing. They have two new ships on order, uh, and they're expecting to increase their uh, their capacity as well. Sega Cruises, by the way, 15 older. You got to be 15 older to participate on Sega Cruises. So interesting uh, developments in the British cruise area, uh, the cruise line area. 
a lot of North Americans love to go for a cruise to Scotland and Ireland and Iceland and Norway in the summertime. And the Brits of the UK cruise lines have figured it out and they're, they know their backyard better than anybody. Uh, of course, Mein Schiff, which is the German cruise line out of uh, Germany, uh, Costa Cruises, uh, which is uh, the uh, uh, Carnival owned, uh, mainly European dominated cruise line. They too are coming up with the cruises. And then of course, our friends at Carnival, uh, Norwegian, Royal, Car uh, Royal Caribbean, they're sending ships over, uh, including Celebrity, they're sending ships over to the UK in the summertime out of the Caribbean. So uh, the uh, UK and British Isles and Baltic Sea areas are gaining in popularity because a lot of North Americans have never been there before. And baby boomers want to get in variety rather than the same old cruise every year. So they're reaching out to further places like these. So there you go. There's some news there. And the last bit of news was just this P&O stuff I was telling you about. The, the 1995 ship that I was just mentioning that's going to be retired is the Oriana. The Oriana has been sold. Uh, it'll be gone by in next year, 2019. It's been sold off. And then the next oldest ship, there's two of them. There's the Aurora and the Oceania. The Oceania. It'll be interesting to see when these 2,000 build-outs get replaced by the new ships coming out. Um, something tells me, though, that the, the, uh, the uh, P&O people will bring the Iona in and only, only offload the, or, the or, Orinia. Orinia. Um, keep the other two for a couple more years. The second ship will come out. They might keep those two a couple more years. And then finally, uh, when another new ship arrives, they might start offloading those two. But P&O will decide. They'll either refurbish them or, or offload them. They'll, they'll decide. The other ships are the Aurora, the Oceania. Then there's the Arcadia, built in 05. The Ventura, built in 2008. The Azura from 2010. And the Britannia, which was built out in 2015, just a few years ago. It's 143,000 tons. These new ships, the Iona and the twin ship, the next one behind it, 184,000 tons, 5,200 passengers, 2020, 2022 arrivals. That's what's coming up. More growth in the UK. All right. There are, there's my, uh, my two bits worth of news that got me into the 230 range. Those of you who just wanted to hear that and don't want to hear the other chat, well, I guess you'll take off and leave me alone. But then again, a lot of you have recovered, have talked to me or sending me messages. Let's say hi to everybody and catch up and see if anyone has any questions, and we'll go from there. Robert Brandt saying hi, Bruce and I'll. 86 in St. Thomas today. Uh, the Cardinal Fascinations in town, 2,056 passengers. Brittany, hi, Bruce. It's 93 degrees. It feels like 106. Peter Heckema, hi, Bruce and all. I'm still over in Orlando where the temperature is about 92 Lots of sun up here. Gas is two fifty eight a gallon. Man, is that a good deal for gas? Um, I hope everyone had a great weekend. We will be listening. Cat is here from Sacramento. It's seventy five. Feels like eighty. Robert Brandt. How was everyone's weekend? Cat. Eh. Tracy Dunlap. Um, hi, Bruce, and all ninety two in Naples today. Nice and sunny. No rain yet today. Bruce, hope you got some rest. Great video on the P and O. Looks like a beautiful ship. The Iona looks fantastic. Certainly built for the uh, elements up there. Uh, Brittany is saying my weekend was quite relaxing, relaxing, but it's going to be even more relaxing coming up. She's getting four days off. Nice going. AC Super Sport is here. How you doing? Uh, everyone here is looking good. AC just finished another Lego ship. Uh, Brittany uh, uh, saying she's got five days off, not four next week. That is incredible. Uh, let's see here. Uh, who else is here? Brittany uh, saying she's going to be uh, getting to her first of two fall her, her two first fall breaks. Fantastic. Um, excuse me. Uh, Tracy Dunlop. Hi, Robert Brandt. Busy uh, uh, busy day. Uh, nephews go to local college, so they come by between classes or after. Just when I think I'll have the break, the other one stops by. I love them, but, you know. <laughs> uh, Robert Brandt. Seven kids. Uh, I know. Laughing out loud. I, I know all about what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paul Wilgus. Hi, Bruce and all. 73 and raining here in Virginia. Not too much flooding here, but further east toward Roanoke. And has quite a bit of rain. Unbelievable. That's Roanoke, I believe, West Virginia or Roanoke, Virginia. I think it's Roanoke, Virginia. Unbelievable. We'll see. Uh, Paul Wilkes, I hope Tom Henry is okay. They were just showing the Richmond area has had several tornadoes this afternoon. Uh, well, I hope so too. Uh, everyone's saying hi to everybody else. Uh, um, let's see what's going on. Uh, who else is here? Sylvanas here. Hi, Bruce and all. 90 Fahrenheit here. Muggy gas was 267 a gallon this afternoon. Thumbs up, everybody. Show Bruce some love. Show him some appreciation. Uh, that would be great. Thank you, everybody. Um, uh, Brittany says, I don't like bad weather. I'm going to may have to learn how to deal with it. Uh, if I get into the Disney program, 
get into the spring advantage, which runs from January to August uh, in Orlando. I guess so. You might have to understand that. Yeah. Wendy Thompson. Hello, everyone. Hi, Bruce. 90 here. Uh, Wendy's in Orlando near, near, sorry, Ocala, Florida. Hi, Peter. Hi, Paul and Robert and Tracy, Debbie. Um, let's see here. Uh, Robert Brandt. Live, live, live. Uh, <laughs> uh, AC Supersport. Is Caribbean Princess supposed to be in NASA? I do not know, sir. I can't answer that question off the top of my head. Does anyone know? Paul Wilgus, uh, Tom Henry, they were showing a couple of the tornadoes near Richmond on my local news. Oh, my goodness. Um, uh, what else is going on here? Uh, AC saying Carnivalation is now leaving NASA. Uh, Tom Henry, I passed an area with trash cans all over the place. So Tom, you, Tom's alive and well, but he saw trash cans being whipped about all over the place. So there you go. Uh, crazy rich guys are here. We are here, they are saying. Uh, uh, Tom Henry saying, watching the news, a roof blew off about eight miles from here. So he's okay. Good stuff, uh, Tom. I'm glad you're all right. Uh, Debbie Manuel, 3,500. What? Wh why the? What the? Hey, uh, so happy for you, Bruce. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, yes, 3,500. 19 subscribers, 800 gained in a week. Wow, that's. I'm just stunned by that. I, I love it. I'm so happy. Wendy, uh, 3519. Yay, 4,000 very soon. I hope so too, Wendy. Let's keep her going. Uh, Debbie Manuel, high 82 today in Northern California. By the way, I got to thank some of you guys. Just I remembered. I just recalled. Part of the reason my channel is growing is also because some of you have been kind enough to to help me out. I've been asking, begging, uh, whenever I issue a new video, a two-minute, three-minute, four-minute video, I've been asking if any of you out there who have Facebook uh, pages, please share my videos, my short videos on your Facebook pages to all your friends out there. Um, I think what's been happening is a number of these people have been getting these videos and have been watching them and then watching some of my other videos. And I think I'm gaining subscribers from friends of friends. And I'm hoping that these new ones, all you new 800 subscribers, please share the videos that I'm doing with your friends and help me get out even further out to build my footprint. The further out, the better. Uh, the more power my, my channel has on YouTube, the better the channels are promoted. The more subscribers I have, the more legitimacy I have with cruise lines. And when I want to put together meet and greet cruises, I want to go to the cruise lines and say, yeah, I, you know, I'm like a year and four months old, and uh, I started with zero subscribers. And well, I got 8,000 subscribers right now, and I'm adding 200 a day. Uh, you know, I'd like to talk to you about a group cruise. Now they're going to listen to what I have to offer or what I'm looking for. They might make us offers we can't refuse. So the more subscribers this channel gets, the better it gets. So that's another reason why I'm, I'm encouraging everyone to help if, if you would like to. I, I really do appreciate those of you who do. I love it. Okay. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, uh, who else is here? DNS World Travel. Hi, everyone. Mid-Michigan in the house. Welcome, you guys. Uh, and Jordan, uh, morning, Bruce and all. I hope we all had a great weekend. It's 24 Celsius, mostly sunny in Brisbane, Australia today. And welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Luc Lucinda Rodriguez, very cool. She's here. How are you doing, Lucinda? Uh, Paul Wilgus, uh, easy walk down hell going up. I don't think I want that. Private conversation going on. Um, <laughs> DNS, don't forget to slam the like button for Bruce. We have 18 thumbs up so far. Thank you, everybody, for that. 44 viewers here. I hope a bunch of you can give me a thumbs up today before you go. Wendy, they call ste steps to Lake of the Ozarks. They call steps to Lake of the Forget me, not steps. Lord help when you have to walk back up and, and get what you forgot. Uh, uh, Paul Wilkes, DNS, where in Michigan are you guys? Uh, and Jordan Morning, Robert. Uh, DNS, Parma, just west of Jackson. All right. Uh, very good. Very good. Um, let's see. Um, Paul Wilgus, uh, DNS, I used to live in the uh, on Lake Lee and near Jackson. I know that whole area. Crazy Rich Guys, you win the lucky prize of Tom Henry. It's us both. Um, Cat Rose is smiling. Um, uh, Wendy Thompson saying, DNS, have family in Stockbridge to love G's Farm Store. She loves that place. Very interesting. Um, <laughs> oh, who else is here today? Cat Rose, Stockbridge, Mass. Um, DNS, 90 days to the Regal Princess. Fantastic. Um, uh, Debbie is saying hi, Anne. Who else is saying hi? Who else is here? I'm just I'm just skipping through a lot of the small chat. Uh, most of the islands depend on tourism as their main source of income, Robert Brand is saying. So these hurricanes can really affect the livelihood of so many people. Robert, you're nailing it. Absolutely correct. There's a lot of people out there, a lot of kids out there who are waiters, waitresses, bartenders, uh, busboys, you know, working at these bars and, and these uh, – 
you know, a, a quick coffee stops and, and corner stores on these islands, hoping for 2,500 people to arrive today or 3,000 or 8,000, whatever the number is. And, uh, you know, they're hoping for tip money. They're, they're hoping for, uh, you know, a six hour shift instead of a four hour shift or a two hour shift. It's, it's everything. I mean, it's really important to these folks. That's why they, they really work so hard when you're there trying to make you happy. Um, it's uh, Paul saying it's sad when they, these places that depend on these tourist dollars lose that kind of money, but that's what happens. Uh, the weather kind of gets in there. Feel the power. How's it going? Feel the power. Welcome back. Uh, Robert Brandt, Paul Wilkes, imagine losing the majority of that income for one or two years, not just a week. And that's what's happening in St. Thomas, St. Croix, uh, St. Martin in spots, uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico got slammed. All kinds of resorts are still being rebuilt in San Juan, Puerto Rico. All kinds of people were laid off. I tell you, there's people desperate for work and, and income. I agree. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, Robert Brandt, feel that power. I like that name. Tom Henry, travel with Bruce. AC needs a good name for his red Lego ship. Uh, red Lego. Oh, someone's got to come up with something. Paul looks so sad, Robert, especially the ones that only income is tourist money. Uh, Robert says something about something orange. I'm not going there. Uh, Richard, Bruce, you said get, you should get Richard B. Company to sponsor your show. Think of all the rum he will sell when we get to the islands. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I think Robert Brandt is already sponsoring this show with his uh, with his uh, donations. Uh, uh, this is this, he's a one man wrecking crew, and I, I love him for it. I really do, and uh, I can't ask him for any more than this. Uh, this is unbelievable. I love it. Uh, I I need what I need is ten more Robert Brandts. That's what I need. Anybody anybody know any more of these guys? I need ten more Robert Brandts, and I'm laughing. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Tom Henry, we just got an extreme alert message to take shelter now. Uh, do so, Tom, and stay safe, please. Bonnie Bernstein, poor Don, big change of plans. He wanted some cool weather, getting warm weather. <laughs> well, he's got warm weather, I'll tell you that. Uh, Bonnie, I think he's going to be just fine. He's so cool about it. I think it'll be great. Um, uh, let's see here. Who else is here? Uh, Bonnie is here. Welcome, Bonnie. Uh, saying hi to everybody. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think he means me, Robert Brandt, to say it. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yes, Robert. Uh, let's see here. Um, Bonnie saying it was windy when Don was up on the deck. Well, that's because the ship was moving. Uh, the ship was moving at 25, 30 miles an hour. He was standing in the area where it was, you know, and then he went into the quiet, the shelter area. Uh, and, of course, if you have five or 10-mile-an-hour winds coming against you and you're going 30 miles, it's 40. Yeah, that's normal. Uh, no surprise there. Um, <laughs> Robert Brandt, uh, that traffic with Bruce says, Bruce needs to be sponsored by AA with me here all the time. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, man. Oh, someone just sent me a super chat for $9.99. I uh, will find out who that is. Uh, I would have been very disappointed, Brittany, saying if I was on the Royal Princess cruise, especially if, because I would have planned to visit places that were of importance to the history of the Titanic. I hear you. Yeah, I, I get you there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, Robert, Rand. I'm not sorry. Uh, <laughs> Robert Brandt, cheers, everybody. Donna McKinnon is here. Hi, everybody. And today it's 90 in Beloit, uh, Wisconsin. Welcome, Donna. Uh, Rum with Robert. Wendy is saying this. Is, we should call the show Rum with Robert. Crazy rich guys. The booze is paying for our college, so we need people to drink. There you go. <laughs> Bonnie, Bermuda is actually a fairly wealthy island. They won't suffer too much when the ships get diverted. Well, yeah, it's wealthy, but some kids rely on that tip money. Uh, but anyway. Uh, Crazy Rich Guys, Tom is saying, do you watch Cruising with Wheels? The recent Frank pushes back, says we have some uh, cruisers popping on, uh, pooping on deck. Is, is that what you meant, pooping or popping? Robert Brent, well, I have a few dollars saved for Crazy Rich Guy travel. <laughs> pooping, Tom is saying. They're pooping on the deck. I can't believe it. Uh, Crazy Rich Guys, we like uh, Cruising with Wheels. Crazy Rich Guys, also uh, D&G. They also like D&G. Paul Williams, uh, uh, Robert Brent, not with those two spending. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Uh, what else we got here? Um, um, uh, what's the thing on the aft on the Caribbean princess? What's that thing on the aft? Uh, anybody know? Uh, 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 Robert Brandt, uh, Bonnie Bernstein saying, Robert, good dad to the twins. Um, let's go here. Uh, uh, thank you, Bonnie, he's saying right there. Uh, Brittany, I still would have made the most of the cruise, even with disappointments. Tom Henry, AC, is that the one with the spoiler? I think if it's, an, it's a lounge. Cat Rose, only reason I would go into Dominican Republic is to get... Larimer, Lar Larry Mer, MG Toe. I'm glad I'm doing this, the Ruby Princess, in a couple of months, he's saying. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, one dead in Chesterfield. Oh, man, uh, people are getting hit there. 
hurricanes in his area near Richmond, uh, Virginia. Richmond, see, great job, MG Toe. You will like the Ruby. Uh, Cat Roos turned off MG Toe's caps lock. <laughs> <laughs> the red ship has the carnival funnel uh, AC super port of sand super sport um, uh, Let's see Paul Wilgus Tom Henry you guys are getting it way worse than we are uh, Crazy rich guy who brings a baby on a cruise Bonnie I would have worked on RC uh, Royal Caribbean if I could babysit for little ones. I'd love it uh, I don't think you'd like the rest of your work schedule. I, I don't think you'd like the rest of it uh, Let's see cat. Uh, I think something happened uh, Wendy. What is with the youngest age for the kids program three? Uh, I, I, it could be, I think it might be, um, uh, let's see here. Um, uh, uh, Tracy, I don't see Blaine 2007 here uh, today. I hope he's doing okay. in Hilton, Hilton head, South Carolina, Bonnie, I just spent three hours on a plane with an eight month old next to me. Help his dad, keep him entertained. God bless you, Bonnie. You're an angel. Uh, uh, AC is saying, guys, I want you to create a name for my new Lego ship. Robert Brandt, Wendy. That, uh, that, Wendy, that what I've been looking at since we've got three grandkids, uh, we'd like to take them on a cruise. Brittany Lockwood, I think that Royal Caribbean canceling in the stateroom babysitting service could have to do with the families using the kids programming on board and family maybe leaving the kids with the grandparents. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, you know, I don't think we'll, I don't know if we'll ever know the real answer for this. Uh, the doctor's here with your new liver. Where should we put it? Uh, crazy rich guys are saying a little, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> can you say disinherited? Uh, can you say that? Uh, my goodness. A cat saying, I, I, if I go on a cruise, it will be an adults only one. Yeah, there you go. Um, Viking cruise lines, for sure. That'd be one to consider. Uh, Wendy Thompson, ours are 21 and 17, but step grandkid five. Paul Wilgus at Robert Brandt. You used the D word, laugh out loud. Ed, Robert Brandt is laughing. Um, uh, let's see. Robert Brandt saying the grandkids are six, four, and three. Oh, my gosh. Uh, are your kids saying you have a pickled liver, Wendy's asking? Oh, my gosh. Bonnie is saying P&O trying to compete with Cunard. Crazy rich guys. We are kidding. He, he'll he get a new one of his own cloned. <laughs> uh, my goodness. Paul Wilga said crazy rich guy travels. You guys better get a good education so you can support yourselves. Uh, Dad is saying, I was thinking the same thing. They should just get a good education. They can support themselves, not lean on me all the time. Um, Robert uh, Brandt is being asked by Paul, have you booked a Disney cruise yet? Bonnie, uh, Paul, look, good one. Robert Brandt might be ready to send the twins to college soon. Wendy, crazy rich guys, do you know who Frank Wright is? Robert Brandt, working on Disney, and and if to take the two boys, uh, then take our granddaughter on a different one on, maybe? Robert Brandt, one. Crazy rich guys, uh, FLW, we do. Uh, uh, crazy rich guys, FLW, we do. All right, Chevy first. Hi, y'all. 95 here in Atlanta. Six more days. I'm packed and ready to go. Chevy first. I think you're going to have zero problems on your cruise. Uh, there are no hurricanes coming from Africa right now. Nothing in the, in the Atlantic that's going to bother you. I think you're going to have smooth sailing, a great time. I'm really looking forward to your cruise. Can't wait for you to tell us how it worked out. I'm sure it'll be great. Bonnie spent last weekend up in Boston, went up Thursday for a doctor appointment on Friday. It was sort of warm in Boston. Know some cruisers who are leaving for Boston, and it's going to cool down in the next few days, but not too, too bad. Brittany just started raining here uh, in Theo Theodo, uh, Louisiana. Uh, Bonnie, hot, hot, hot in Lake Worth, Florida. And Jordan, how how's your arm, uh, Bonnie? Hope all is well. Crazy Rich Guys, we like Frank, uh, Gary, and Louis Kahn's works. Uh, Bonnie, I have been sharing many of your videos. Thank you, Bonnie, so much. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Tom Henry, I was watching Bruce's first live program yesterday, Bruce Withdrawal. He couldn't get chat to work. That was January the 6th. The first time I tried this super chat, I was working on it off of my computer, and I couldn't figure out how to get the chat to work. And then I figured out, why don't I just use my phone and have the chat right here? And that way I can control it uh, with my little old finger. And it, this has been a godsend for me. And it works just great. And the, January the 8th, I started going on this method. Been using it ever since. And uh, Tom, uh, you, you kill me. I love it. Uh, what was your solution, Bruce? I just just I told you, Robert Brandt, pour a cocktail and binge watch traveling with Bruce's old videos. Yeah, you can do that. I don't know if you want to, but you, know, you can try uh, you may want to fast forward through a bunch of them. Uh, laugh out loud, Tom. I saw that one. Uh, Bonnie Bergstein and Jordan uh, sore from the shot, but I think the steroid will help the shoulder. It was a big ouchy shot. AC Supersport, what do you think I can get if I give Celebrity the model? Uh, gosh, I wouldn't know, my friend. Bonnie having a mocktail now. Tom Henry, yep. And I was reminded of some former regulars 
what happened to some of these guys? It's true. And I look at some of my old videos, my chats, I see names I don't see anymore, but that's just the, you know, it's how it goes. So people come and go, Randy Lucas, talk about a blast from the past. How you doing, Mr. Lucas? Greetings, Bruce, and all. Wonderful sunny day here in downtown Sacramento, California. The high today, 85, and no smoke in sight. Today was take your wife to work with you day. Oh, man, that must have been fun. Uh, Robert Brandt, you know what a Bloody Mary without the vodka is called? Uh, a bloody awful. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Henry, uh, Charles Jordan. Uh, no, uh, bloody awful. Paul Lucas is laughing out loud. So is AC Supersport. Bloody uh, unsubscribe from CWW. Uh, I don't like Frank's. Frank pushes back more time for Bruce. Uh, Bunny, uh, whatever works for you is okay with me. If you unsubscribe from someone else to watch me or the other way around, you call the shots. You're the boss. And uh, I'm just glad you like what I do. And Jordan, yep, Bonnie sounds painfully painful, wrist easy. We're crazy rich guys. We like Frank and Kevin. I, I like them too. I, I do. I like them too. Uh, I really enjoyed having them work with me on my video, uh, that collaboration video I did a few weeks ago. That was a lot of fun. Bonnie and Robert Brandt will be in Nassau in October on the Carnival Elation. Very good. Cat Rose waves to Randy Lucas, also in downtown. She's in downtown Sacramento too. Uh, uh, crazy rich guys, please, God, no. 10, Robert Brantz, Bruce, please. No, don't wish for 10 more of those. Please, no. Paul looks laughing out loud. Uh, Robert Brandt, have you been to Nassau at Bonnie Bernstein? Bonnie Bernstein is who sent me a contribution for $9.99. There it is. The super chat from Bonnie. Thank you, Bonnie, for your uh, your super chat today. I, I, I love it. Uh, I appreciate any and all donations to this humble YouTuber. Thank you so much. Robert Brandt also Thank you today for your contribution as well. I got two today. This is awesome. Ignoring them, Robert saying, I'm ignoring those twins. I'm just ignoring them. I'm not, I know. Blaine, 2007, he's here. Hello, Bruce and all. Just got in from work. Hope all is well. We were wondering about you, Blaine. We were worried about you. What happened? Have you got any tornado issues in your area or uh, flooding? How are you doing down there, buddy? Uh, Tom Henry. Hi, Randy Lucas. Bonnie, I'm not Robert Brandt, but I'll try to help. <laughs> It's all good. Any contribution to this channel, I appreciate it. No matter who does it or how, I, I just I don't care. I love them all. Thank you so much. Uh, Robert's laughing. Debbie Manuel, Bonnie B, I don't want to be rude, but I did the same. I just got tired of what seemed to be constant complaining. There you go. Okay. Uh, Paul Lucas, hello, Blaine. Tom Henry, well, we have seven already and two right here. We have seven already and two right here. Uh, are you talking about tornadoes? I'm not sure what you mean. Bonnie uh, at Debbie Manuel didn't like the tone Frank was taking. So negative. Not my idea of a good cruise video. All right. Um, Tom Henry, very true. Bonnie, uh, Blaine, uh, hi, uh, Paul. And Jordan, hey, yeah, Blaine, how are you? Bonnie, aft on Caribbean Princess, aft pool and bars. Nice. Blaine, 07. Hi, Ann Jordan. We are well. The storm went further north, so we dodged a bullet. Thank you. That is good news, Blaine. I'm glad to hear that. Cat. It's a one source stone from only one mine there. Bonnie Bergstein, uh, Bruce is always so happy and gives cruising a good name, makes people want to cruise. So thank you for, yeah, I don't know these are coming. I didn't pre-read these comments. I'm just I'm just discovering them as we go here. Tom Henry says, yep, Debbie Manuel, I agree. Robert Brent, I agree. And Jordan, keep safe. Lane. Thank you all of you guys for your kind words. I really appreciate it. I, you know, my opinion on, on cruising is, uh, you guys know, I love to cruise. I can't wait to go on my next cruise. As soon as I have one book, I'll let you know. Um, when I can organize a meet and greet, I'll let you know. Um, but as you all know, I have been working my tush off since last year, August, to build this channel and to get the bugs out of my presentation and make it a better experience and grow some credibility and you know everything else that comes with it. And it has to... This channel has to support me. It has to be a financial crutch that I can lean on to live on. Uh, otherwise, I have to quit and get a day job. So I'm putting everything I have into it to do this, and it is coming. This channel is growing every month on a financial basis. Not yet, not there yet. I haven't got enough coming in yet to say I can live on this channel. No. Uh, Jennifer is uh, all important here to help make it go. But I do love the business. I do love the cruise ship uh, stories and I can't wait to go on my next cruise. And you have to know, I can't wait to produce videos to you guys on board a cruise ship. 
<laughs> I can't wait. Uh, the day will come, and oh, I'm looking forward to it. And to meet a bunch of you will be a highlight, to say the least. I, I can't wait. All right. Bonnie, um, uh, Robert Brandt, many times, left a lot of money at the Casino of Atlantis, really wanted to do an island tour and go to the straw market. Jim Thomas, hey, Bruce, hovering in the mid-80s here in Anderson. Jim Thomas, welcome to the show. I'm uh, glad you're here. Uh, I was talking about you and Debbie earlier today. I uh, was mentioning to, to the folks out there that I had another uh, donation made to the channel. I mentioned you and I mentioned Debbie. Uh, loyal friend, thank you, sir. I hope your knee is getting better. It's got to be getting a lot better now. I hope you're almost done with your physio and getting a better range of motion and more power. And I was curious also, Jim, I think I mentioned you for another reason today. The forest fires, what's the situation where you are? How's your air quality where you are? Because where I am here, when I started my show, what, 52 minutes ago, uh, beautiful uh, air quality here. We've had rain now for a good week and a half off and on. Uh, all around us, it's been raining. So the forest fires are not an issue anymore. No smoke in the air. How about for you? I hope it's getting better. Uh, Robert Brandt, I enjoy NASA. Also, Randy Lucas, hi, Cat, the B and TH. Bonnie Bergstein at Robert Brandt, been to Freeport too, and a few of the smaller islands in the Bahamas, flew from Florida. Tom Henry, Bonnie Bergstein, did your luggage tell you where it where it went? Uh, traveling without Bonnie TWB. Did you, I'm not sure what you're trying to say, Tom Henry. Uh, did your luggage tell you where it was, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, Sylvia um, is here. Sunny, 84 degrees, Greensboro, North Carolina. Had a lot of rain over the weekend, Florence. Daughter is still here from Wilmington. Don't know when she is going to, back, going to go back. I'm so glad she's not in Wilmington and with you. So glad you got her out of there. I I, I just am so happy. Uh, Paul is saying hi, Sylvia. Bonnie, Robert Brandt had one trip canceled because of the hurricane many years ago. Jim Thomas, we all should pitch in and get Bruce an iPad, make it easier for him when reading our comments. <laughs> send me, uh, uh, if you want to do that, send me uh, Apple Store gift cards. How about that? Send me Apple Store gift cards. And then I can go to the Apple store and buy one. How about that? I don't know. It's crazy. Or or send me Costco gift cards because I think I can buy one there. Can't I? I think I can. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, or, or what's the other one? Uh, uh, not Best Buy. Yeah, Best Buy. Best Buy gift cards. Whatever. Or just make donations. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jimbo, I love you. Thank you. Uh, AC Super Sport Bruce, can you create a name for my ship? Uh, no, I can't. I'm going to leave that to the viewers. Uh, uh, it's not my job. Bonnie, uh, Tom Henry in the luggage isn't talking. It did arrive later in the day. The luggage, oh, I see. <laughs> the luggage isn't talking. <laughs> Same question. And Jordan, hi, uh, Sylvia. Tom Henry, wow, tornado hit the vehicles da thrown down around in Genito Road. Uh, Tom Henry seeing some more, more mayhem down there. Cat Rose, Meeps, hides from tornadoes. Uh, uh, Paul Wilgus, uh, Tom Henry, how far... From you, about eight miles again, he says, crazy rich guys, hold on to Toto. Uh, Paul Wilkes laughing out loud. Bonnie Bergstein, Tom Henry, duck and cover. Tornadoes are scary and dangerous. Chevy in first, AC Supersport, name it, the Carnival Chevy. I love red in honor of my first cruise. Uh, crazy rich guys, our data ringtone, our, our data ringtone for when when my when he calls is that Wicked Witch theme. <laughs> Bonnie, I would have thought it would be the sound of a cash register. Ka-ching! I, I would, I don't know. That's just me. Uh, Bonnie Bergstein, I need to find your red bubble link. I can always use another t-shirt. The red bubble link is in the description down below on the day of my show or on my homepage up there where those icons are, those little icons. There's the PayPal, the Twitter, the Amazon, and the red bubble. It's a little red one. That's how you find me. Um, Okay. I, I think the other way to do it, I bet you could Google it. If you went to Google and entered um, Traveling with Bruce Redbubble Store, if you just did that, hit Google search, I bet you you'd get a link to the store. I, it's just my hunch. All right. Uh, AC Supersport, maybe I want to see what everyone else creates. Tom Henry, my Vol Chevy Volt is red. How about AC Volt, like the electric nature of that? Randy Lucas... By the way, Randy saying, 20 days until our next cruise on the Liberty of the Seas out of Galveston, Texas. Giddy up, Randy. That's fantastic. Cat Rose, I am flying flying across country in like two and a half weeks. Robert Brandt, it's a joke, not serious. Uh, crazy rich guys. Uh, Bonnie Bergstein, AC, maybe name it the Carnival Red Bubble Ship. AC Supersport. I will definitely start the, the, the name with AC. 
Uh, he's laughing a lot. Robert Brandt, Traveling with Bruce, you, you, we should buy it on Amazon with your link and then send it to you. Now, now, you're, now you're talking. Now we're, ta we're talking multi-level donation here. You buy the item on Amazon, which gets a royalty for the channel, and then you send it to me, and I have it. I, well, wow. Uh, yeah, who wants to do? Who wants to do that? <laughs> I'll let any of you take the lead on this one. That would be unbelievable. Okay, and Jordan, great name, Chevy and first for the Carnival Chevy uh, for AC Super Sport Lego ship. AC uh, Costco is Bruce's second home. Oh yeah, I love Costco. Uh, Blaine, Robert Brandt, I was just about to say that you beat me to it. That's a good idea, uh, Robert Laughlin. Uh, Chevy and first, thanks, and Jordan. Tom Henry's trying to steal my thunder. Laugh out loud. Bonnie, at Bruce, I came home Sunday morning, but my luggage didn't arrive later in the afternoon. And it's not telling you where it went, did it? Oh, I got you. Now, I, now I'm getting it. <laughs> Tom Henry sounds good, Robert Brandt. I will contribute. Tribute to the cause. Sylvia, uh, hi, Ann and Paul. Robert Brandt, is there some duty sending an iPad to Canada? Oh, there must be. Uh, there must be something like that. And Jordan, a great name also for a Lego ship. Um, what do we got here, Robert Brandt? If it's direct from Amazon, uh, yeah, if it's direct from Amazon, there might be. Cat Rose, there might be. Bonnie, I'm good at Google. What I'd have to do is, uh, oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Um, let me think a minute. Okay, my daughter is moving to Los Angeles. She's being transferred there for work. Um, she's in, she's in the advertising business. She's a copywriter and, uh, she leaves at the end of the month for Los Angeles. So, uh, what I would then do is, uh, if you did get it and you needed to send it somewhere, I'd have you send it with Amazon to my daughter in LA and guess who's going to be visiting the daughter in LA in the not too distant future, Jennifer and me, of course. So that's how I could get it, and I would just bring it back with me as my own unit. Anyway, that there's a thought. If any of you guys want to put something together, I I leave it all to you. What model? What what? It's all to you. All right, up to you. Uh, Blaine, Bruce can put one of his images for traveling with Bruce on on it as an iPad case. Yes, I could. Tom Henry, I have a tablet. I could send him Samsung Wi-Fi only. Um, uh, Cat. Uh, Bonnie, it is why when I fly to Boston in two and a half weeks, I am going to carry on only. I'm going to carry on. I'm not playing this luggage game anymore. Robert Brandt on Amazon. Uh, AC Supersport. Uh, talking Cruise. Taking What's that? Talking Cruise sent a link to Celebrity Cruises on my Celebrity Edge. So happy an opportunity awaits. There you go. Way to go, AC. Good luck on that. All right. Well, there you have it. Uh, we're coming up to what is an hour on the show. Not bad, you guys. Uh, Bonnie, my iPad caused me a lot of trouble going through security at Logan International Airport, even though I have a TSA pre-check. Tom Henry, Bruce, email me Email me the address. So when I have it, I'll get it to you, but I don't have it yet. Uh, I won't have it for about two weeks. So patience, patience. Uh, um, Tom Henry, Bruce, email me the address. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Uh, sorry, uh, Wendy, uh, ringtones, uh, CRG, you have heard an old song. They're coming to take me away. Robert Brandt, thumbs up to everybody. Um, it, it, look, Tom, Robert, uh, all you guys, if you guys want to put your heads together to somehow put something together like that, who am I to say, no, I don't want that. I'd love one of those. Uh, the more powerful, the better, because there's stuff I could probably do on it. Uh, but anyway, hmm, I'll leave it at that. Uh, yes, we yes we have. Crazy rich guys are saying yes we have. Okay, um, there you go. That, I think that's the show today. Uh, news was on Bermuda today. Royal Caribbean killing onboard babysitting princess with the royal princess and Don's family travels. I'm hoping he's having a good trip. News on the British cruise lines. News on P&O. Please watch my P&O uh, uh, video I put on today about the new ship, the Iona. Please share it on Facebook for me if you could, or any other social media platform. If there's a way for you to do it, please help me do that. That would be great for this channel. Bonnie, Cat Rose, ne even my carry-on cost problems, and I was doing wheelchair assist, not great assistance. And Jordan has got thumbs-ups and all kinds of happy symbols. Paul Wilkes, Wendy Thompson, I haven't thought of that song in ages. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm on tomorrow for two shows. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I'm on for 5 o'clock, the regular show. And then tomorrow, 8 o'clock tomorrow night, it's primetime trivia. Tuesday night, get ready, you guys. I'll be working on that the rest of the day tonight and in the morning tomorrow to get get ready you get ready for you guys. I got to stump you guys. And Jordan, not good money, even with the TSC pre-check. Wendy Thompson, hee hee to the funny farm. Tom Henry, terrific. 
Bonnie Bergstein, Cat Rose, in the end, it was all good. I got home safely, and so did my luggage. Thank you for that. Peter Scherf is here, loves Disney. Peter, thank you for joining me today, and I'm glad you're still here with us. Be uh, Debbie Emanuel, yay, another great show, Bruce. Now to watch your latest video, stay safe all. Toodles, get back together tomorrow, Cat, in Boston, not good. In Boston, not good. AC, uh, AC Star or Carnival Ch uh, Carnival Chevy. Tom Henry, hugs to you, Bonnie. Uh, Robert Brandt, thumbs ups. Come on, you guys, give Bruce thumbs ups. Randy Lucas, dear W T W, dear traveling with Bruce uh, Peeps T W B Peeps. The lovely Michelle and I have a cruise in December that embarks in Buenos Aires. We are spending six days there post cruise. What are the must dos? Does anyone know what they are supposed to do in Buenos Aires for six days? Any ideas? Tell them on my Facebook group page. I have a Facebook page called Traveling with Bruce. Get on over there and uh, ask to join the group. I'll let you in and uh, tell these guys what an idea they, what kind of ideas they should come up with for Buenos Aires. What do you do for six days in Buenos Aires? There's got to be stuff to do. Bonnie Bergstein, Tom Henry, hugs right back at you. Robert Brandt, tango. You got a tango. Uh, AC Supersport, Casa Rosato. Casa Rosato. I'm not sure if that's the name of the ship or if that's an idea. He's got. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Tango's one idea. Um, I would. I would definitely do some t digging. Uh, any of you? I might have to watch a couple of YouTube videos to see what you do in Buenos Aires. There's got to be some about that. Peter Heckema, good show, Bruce. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Peter and Jordan. Uh, yay, trivia is a go. Great show, Bruce. See you, Debbie, and all stay and all stay from the storms. Uh, please stay away from those storms. Uh, AC Supersport guys. Name debate, AC Star or Carnival Chevy. Robert Brandt, it's a wine, too. It's a, oh, it's a wine, too. Debbie Manuel, buy any. And uh, have a great one, Wendy. So is Mr. Stinky and Pan coming to stay with you? No, but I'm catching up with them, maybe, or maybe not. I'm going to be in Calgary next week. I will let you know the dates in a couple of days. Uh, my shows will be altered for only one day, though. Uh, so not much changes, but I will be working out of Calgary Next week, Monday and Tuesday for sure. Uh, but I don't know if I'll be with the kiddies. I'm not sure about that. Um, uh, Tom Henry, got to have AC. AC Super Sport. Okay, Tom Henry. Tom Henry, bye, everybody. Uh, AC, everyone else. All right. Thanks, you guys. 25 thumbs ups is what I got today. Thank you for 25 thumbs ups. Still 41 of you here. If any of you are in the mood, uh, willing to give me a thumbs up, please do on this show. Please watch my video I loaded today and give it, it a thumbs up. It needs some momentum help to get going. It's a brand new video. That would be great. And if you could share it uh, as well, I'd appreciate that. All right, that's it. I'm on for an hour and four minutes. That's enough. I bored you enough. Guys, thanks for joining me today for Monday, September the 17th, 2018. I really enjoyed having you here. Brittany Singh was a great show. I've been listening to the show for the most part. I'm getting ready to be around for five. Uh, got to be got to get ready for the interview. Right on. You get that going, girl. Um, let's see. Ann Jordan, TWB, Red Bubble Sport. Uh, <laughs> Bonnie Bergstein, AC Supersport, AC Star. Randy Lucas, good day. All great show, Bruce. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Bonnie. And AC, everybody. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful evening. I will see you tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Thanks for the thumbs ups, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.